Hey guys, Dr. Kilfoyle here with Podiatry Explained, here with nurse practitioner Geraldine Hoops. Uh, here we have a video where we did together with this patient who hasn't come to the office since 2020. It's been about a year and 10 months, so nearly two years, and that's how long these nails have gotten for this patient. She is diabetic. She does have neuropathy. So we uh, take the nippers and we start chopping at them. Uh, always start from the edge. You don't want to clamp these from the top because then you'll pinch the nail bed and that's painful to the patient. If the patient doesn't have any pain sensation, you know, you're still injuring the patient and causing a potential for infection. Uh, here we're just going to go through the, 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 the 10 of them and uh, for the most part. And during this uh, video, you'll hear me have a discussion with the patient. I'll let you listen in. My eyes are have glaucoma. You, do you have diabetic retinopathy? Did anybody ever tell you that? No. Okay, good. And uh, your kidneys are fine? Yeah, they're okay. Okay, good. Who's managing your diabetes? Um, my doctor at uh, Nassau University. What medicines is he using? Are you taking insulin by any chance? Yes. Gotcha. Do you take something weekly, like a weekly injection? No, I take it every day. Okay, and then what about um, any pills? Do you take any pills? Metformin. Gotcha. Okay. Have you already had any uh, cardiac issues? Any heart issues with the heart? No. What was your sugar this morning? 98. Beautiful. Do you know the name of your doctor that's managing the diabetes? The one from Nassau University? Um, I can't think of this name because it's about three of them. Okay. Here at this part of the, the examination, we're doing the, what is called the SEMS Weinstein monofilament test. Yeah, so uh, here in the test, we're using the SEMS Weinstein monofilament. We have a 10 gram monofilament for this one. Uh, Gerald, would you like to tell us what this is for? Yes, yeah, so it's an objective test. It's a simple instrument that's used to uh, touch the foot, and it's used in the screening for diabetic foot of loss of protective sensation. Gotcha, yes. Uh, so we try, you know, to do it all, you know, as correctly as possible. We do it on the first, third, and fifth toe, pretty much because the first toe is, you know, where the medial plantar nerve is going to go, intermediate plantar nerve, and the lateral plantar nerve. There's also a spot between the first and second toe and the dorsum of the foot where the deep peroneal nerve also is uh, going to be, you know, represented. This patient has no sensation of any of them. She doesn't feel anything until you start to get toward her heel. That loss of protective sensation means that she is at a higher risk for any kind of diabetic foot wounds because she won't be able to feel. And that also reflects in the reason why she was able to wait almost two years. So this patient has no pain, uh, really, in her toes when she's having this. And I wonder what caused her to come in today. Um, probably somebody saw them and made her feel bad about it. I don't know. If that was my mom, I'd make her feel bad about it, that's for sure. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more content, and just remember, every day is the best day of your life.
ready then. Any cords or calluses bothering you? No. <clears throat> Any other spots that you want me to touch up? No, I like it. Beautiful. All right. Well, I'd like to see you a little more often than every couple of years. Let's uh, let's okay. aim for six months or so, okay?